Hi, my name's Amy Lennox and I'm the audiologist with Osmetrics Australia and I'm just going to go through how to connect and configure your Oracle to the Autosuite. First of all, what you need to do is to take the manual entry mode off by clicking on this button here at the top. You'll then get this error message which tells you that Autosuite cannot connect to the Oracle Lord. If you just click OK and go to Tools, Configuration Wizard, Audiometry and Configure. Now you may have these T1, T2 demos available. Don't worry about those, just click My Device is turned on and ready to be found. And then click Search. Now just make sure that when it pops up the serial numbers correct, highlight that one and then just click Next. This is where you'll need to fill in your appropriate license keys which you will receive with your new Oracle. Now these different test types, most of you won't need to have them selected. Some of you may use the QuickSyn test. You will need the separate license key to access that. That just tells you the maximum level that your bone conductor can go to. And then click finish. You'll also need to configure the counselling and simulators. Now this needs to connect to your free fit. Your free fit is your real ear measure device and it should be sitting on top of your Oracle. Make sure your battery has been charged up for 24 hours before you attempt this and you just need to make sure that it's not on charge when it first connects. When you've taken it off charge, just say my device is switched on and ready to be found. Click search. You should see the Bluetooth kick in on your device, so the light should go from green to flashing blue. And once it's found, the serial number will pop up there. Again, highlight it and click Next. And again, just make sure your customer key is filled in correctly there. Here for speaker output, you just want to make sure it's set to Oracle Ord speakers. Headphone is Oracle Ord counselling headset and your microphone up input is microphone oracle ord. I also want you to click on audio devices and just ma make sure you've got something selected that is not oracle ord. So just click on something else and click set default and that just stops your window sounds coming out through the oracle. You need to do the same for the microphone so see here my oracle ord is the default device. I don't want that to be the case so I'm going to click on this one and set default. Speaker channel. Now this depends on what input you've selected for your speaker. So you will need to look at your back of your oracle to check. I would recommend using the right. And if I've set it up or any other member of Votometrics, they normally use the right channel. Click next. Now it's going to start talking about calibration. Always use free fit for speaker calibration. Make sure your free fit is switched on and within reach. Now I want you to put the free fit wherever your patient will be sitting in your room because you're going to do room calibration. Close out any doors and make the room as quiet as possible. And the speaker is going to generate some noise to do the room calibration, so make sure the room is nice and quiet. You'll then be given a calibration offset. The offset is what the offset is. There's no alteration that you need to make to that. Once you're happy, click finish. And we just need to lastly do the same for PMM. So configure. My device is turned on and ready to be found. Once found, make sure that it's highlighted and click next. It should remember all the settings from what you've just done next. Don't worry about this RECD unless you've also got the test box. All the same, just tick as you go. And again, the speaker will generate sound and give you an offset. Finish. Now, if you don't have the video otoscope, Capella, Otoflex, you can untick these extras if you've just got the oracle you just want audiometry counseling and simulations and pm and click finish
Now it still says the audioometer is not connected. It's because we just need to connect it for the first time. And there you go. Now once you've connected your Oracle up, you just need to go into Tools and Options and have a look through all these different options you can change to make the Oracle more suitable for yourself. So for example, you can see here on my screen that I've got these blue buttons so that I can use the mouse for audiometry. You might not want that on screen, so you go to Tools, Options, and it's under General, and you'd switch off those on screen controls. And then just go to Save as User Test or Save as Startup Settings. And that will remember that those settings for next time it starts up. To go through this in more detail, it might be an idea to contact someone from Otometrics. And that's how you set up your Oracle for the first time. My name's Amy Mannix, and thank you for watching.